What's up YouTube? It's your boy Yannick and I want to welcome you to the Sense and Style channel. The channel where we discuss cologne reviews and men's lifestyle subjects such as self-care, dating and fashion. Now if you're stopping by don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and hit the bell so that way you know when the next video drops. So without further ado, let's get into what we're going to talk about today. So what we're going to talk about today is a cologne review and this cologne comes from Liz Claiborne and it is Bora Bora. The top notes on this is kiwi, bergamot and lemon, middle notes of hibiscus and lavender and base notes of leather, cedar and musk. This fragrance was released in 2002 and right now you can get it on fragrance discounters for between $15 and $16. If you pay more than $16 for this, you got robbed. Now right away from the name Bora Bora, that kind of tells you that it's a fresh type of scent. Let's spray a little bit on, see what we think about it. Now the first spray on this is a little bit sharp, but I do get the citrus notes and I do get the lavender as well. On the dry down, I could pick up the cedar and the musk, but the leather, I can't really pick that up. But one thing I can tell you, it is a pretty synthetic smelling fragrance that does pull a lot of compliments. It almost reminds me of a car freshener type scent. If you don't mind smelling like car freshener, then this might be for you. Or just buy a bottle and keep it in your car. It's already pretty cheap. Now anyone can wear this fragrance. I see high schoolers wearing this as well as those geriatrics that are signed into the nursing home, they can rock this as well. Now the situations I see this being worn in is to the office, run into the bar to grab a drink with a couple friends, or you're just at a chill hangout spot, like a backyard barbecue, or catching a game at friends. If you drive a Bentley, you won't be out of place wearing this if you're just running around casually. Or if you drive a 92 beat up Ford Escort, you won't be out of place wearing this either. It's just a super versatile fragrance. I won't suggest that you wear this to a meeting where you're trying to lock down a million dollar contract, all right? But if you run into the office for a regular day's work, this will do just fine. You can dress this up with a suit and tie in my eyes, but the best suit and tie situation for this is if you run out to the bar for happy hour, get it out your car, spritz yourself a couple times, pop, pop, and you're good to go. It is super mass appealing. It does pull compliments from the ladies and it'll be hard to offend anybody wearing this. The only downside to this though is its performance. On my skin, I get between four to five hours, all right, two hours of projection in the beginning. And after that, it tones down to a nice skin scent. Is it anything groundbreaking? No. Nope. But you do get compliments on it and if that's all that matters to you, then hey, for 12, 15, 16 bucks, you can't go wrong with this. Now I'd style this in a simple jeans and t-shirt or if you run into the movies, all right? Super casual. I'd also wear this to bed or for that Netflix and chill type situation. You'd also catch me wearing this one to the gym as well. Or spraying it in my car if my car needs that extra pickup for its smell. Now, that's it today for the review on Liz Claiborne's Bora Bora. If you like this video, found it informative, please hit the like, subscribe, and share button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what y'all think about this. Let me know what y'all want me to do next. All right? Other than that, I'll catch you later. Stay safe and peace, guys.